Jesus does. A lot of people think that if you were to just come to believe a gospel of grace and believe that God could just so freely forgive you, that you could be set free and forgiven from all the mistakes of your past, that it just seems too good to be true and it just seems too easy, and that if you were let off the hook like that, that somehow uh, you, you would no longer try hard in life. A lot of people believe like that. A lot of, a lot of parents and teachers and coaches, they'll sometimes withhold the affirming, accepting words of love and grace for fear that people won't try as hard. And I just want you to know that is not the way the human soul actually works. Because when we have sinned greatly, but find out that we are loved greatly anyway, when we discover the kindness of God, when we discover that His love for us is true and deep and pure and eternal despite all of our sin, when you discover what God has done for you in Jesus Christ through the cross wherein He has become our sin so that anyone who trusts in Him would not be any longer held responsible for your sin, not punished for your sin, and not enduring the wrath of God for your sin, because Jesus came to take all of that. He took upon Himself the very wrath that should have been intended towards all of us. And when you receive this good news, and you discover the power of the gospel to set you free from all the condemnation of your past and all the regrets, I'll tell you, it doesn't turn you into a lazy person. <laughs> it does just the opposite. Those who have been forgiven much, love much. Those who know God has forgiven you of much, love God much. And those who find that their sin has been forgiven, they are the ones who are re-engaged with a higher hope than ever before.